You're looking at a Dynagen controller, and I want to discuss in this video cold weather starting and some things that are going to help if you have difficulty starting in the cold weather. <clears throat> Assuming your battery is fully charged, you've got good fuel, there's no fuel delivery issues or anything else with a generator going on, there are some things you can do in the controller to help. And uh, in, the, in the cold weather, you may need to crank longer, or you may need to have the glow plugs on a little longer than you do in the summertime. So here's what you do. You go into, first of all, you press off. You're going to go into the menu, and we want to look at the timers. Bef before you can get to this menu here, I just did this a moment ago, so it's not asking me, but to get into some of these menus, it's going to want your password. And your password to get in here is either four zeros or quite often the last four digits of your controller serial number. And you can find the controller serial number on the menu under device info and about. We'll show you on the third line the serial number. 0082 could be your serial number and your password. You can change it if you like. In ours, we left it at four zeros just to make it easier. So off, enter timers, enter, engine logic, enter, preheat time. We have it set for 10 seconds. Great. You might have it set for something else. If you want to change this, uh, I probably wouldn't go over 10 seconds. I think beyond that, it's not really doing much. But let's say you want to change it. So you went in your preheat time, you pressed enter, and now you can use the arrow on up up and down button and select the time. Let's change it to eight seconds, assuming it was three or something lower, um, or back to 10 seconds. When they press enter, it'll give me a little check mark that it accepted it, press it again, will take me out of this menu. That was the preheat time. Now the crank time. That's probably giving you the most uh, issues with cold weather starting because the crank time for many people by default is only three seconds. It's okay to crank longer. Again, in this menu, just like the previous one, you can arrow up and down to change how long the generator should crank. By default, a lot of generators are three seconds. That's nowhere near enough in cold weather. You can increase it to 10. Some will tell you you can even go to 30 seconds, but we feel if it's not starting in 10 seconds, you have other issues. Press enter. Little check mark acknowledges it. Enter again to get out of the menu. That's all you gotta do. We adjusted the crank time and the preheat time. There's mid-heat, which is the uh, glow plugs being on while the generator is cranking. We don't want to do that because it drains the battery. It's a big load on the battery, and we want to reserve that energy for cranking the engine. There's a crank reset time. It tells it how long to wait before trying again. How many times to try cranking? We normally have it set for three attempts. Uh, fuel and rest, don't touch that. RPM disconnect, don't touch that. There's a bunch of other settings. If you don't know what you're doing, don't go in there. Warm-up time, it's not what you think. 10 seconds is actually telling it to ignore sensors or ignore things during the warm-up period. You don't want to adjust these settings. There's a lot of settings you go into. I'm going to back out here. Here you have an option to go back. There's a lot of settings that uh, uh, perhaps sensors, battery, battery recharge, where you can't go back. It doesn't allow you to go back. So rather than just enter something here and make a mistake and overwrite some setting, pay attention to what has a little check mark beside it or is highlighted, because that's what you're selecting. And to get out of it, select the same thing again. Now you've got an option to go back. So just be careful with some of those menus you go into that don't have the back option. So we're going to keep backing out here. The controller is going to save all our settings. It's going to restart, not in auto, start enabled, warning me I'm not an automatic. I put it back in auto. It's now waiting to start. It's waiting for the signal from your transfer switch when the power fails to tell the generator to start. Everything's fine. No cautions, no warnings. If I'm not in auto, forget to put it back in auto. It's going to tell me I'm not in auto. Show me an amber light for a warning indicator. But start is still enabled. I can still manually start the generator. Preheating, do not load. It's counting down the 10 seconds that I had the preheater on. Now it's going to crank after that time has expired. The battery voltage might drop. It might even give you a, a, a quick uh, warning message to let you know the battery voltage dropped, but everything's fine. Generator started, no issues.